So <coughs> there's a method. So let let GP be in a universal rigid framework, and P is a, a generic in in the R-dimensional uh, configuration space. And then uh, GP has a PSD equilibrium uh, stress matrix of rank uh, V minus R minus one. So this is the main theorem uh, I want to prove. And uh, it uses uh, lots of uh, uh, tools from, uh, uh, from the uh, convex analysis and, uh, and, and the spatial structures of a convex cones. Uh, okay, so so recall, uh, uh, so, uh, so we let's recall some uh, uh, definition of the extreme point and expose expose point. So the uh, 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 suppose we have a, a convex cone, a convex set C, and a point X is uh, belong to C is called a case extreme. If the dimension of the minimal phase containing X is a uh, is less or equal to uh, K, uh, so let uh, X X T K C uh, is a set of all the K extreme points in in C. Uh, alternatively, uh, you can you can think of uh, think of extreme uh, case. C is the union of all the, all the k-dimensional faces of C. Uh, because all the, uh, uh, here I only, uh, I, I, uh, it's uh, the union of the, uh, I didn't include the, the, the k minus one dimensional faces uh, because you can think about the k minus one dimensional faces in the boundary of the k-dimensional faces. So, so, so extreme k, Although it contains a small <coughs> can contain smaller faces, but uh, it's it's a union of other uh, k-dimensional faces. So the smaller ones are, are automatically include, included. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, and uh, uh, what is uh, and uh, uh, and uh, what is an exposed point? So we have a similar definition for uh, for exposed point. So the point X. Uh, Belong to C is a uh, is K exposed if the minimal exposed phase containing C, uh, containing X in C is the K dimensional or less. So, so the difference between extreme and exposed is a, in the in the extreme cases is the dimension we say we say X is a case extreme is uh, when the dimension of the minimal phase containing X is less than K. And uh, for the, for exposed point, uh, we say uh, upon x is k exposed if the minimal exposed phase continue x is uh, is at most k. And uh, and similarly, uh, we let exposed exposed k uh, be the set of, of the k exposed point in k. Uh, alternatively, you can uh, think exposed k c is the union of the k dimensional exposed exposed faces of, of, of C. Uh, so let's uh, uh, see let's see a picture. So suppose uh, uh, so this this uh, this this uh, and th this set is, is my is, is C. This is my my, uh, my, my C. <coughs> so I have a point uh, here. This is the point here. Uh, let's call this point uh, 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 I call it X, and I have another point uh, here. Uh, let's call it uh, Y, and uh, another point uh, here, uh, Z. Uh, then, uh, then Z is a uh, belong to uh, extreme point if T zero. Of C, right? Because uh, because there is a uh, there you can find a ex you can you can find a hyperplane that exposes this D and the intersection of a uh, of of uh, the the blue line and the 
and 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 C is is exactly one uh, zero dimensional, <coughs> and also Z is also in in expose T uh, uh, expose T zero C, right? Because uh, uh, because uh, uh, this uh, is this uh, K is uh, can be exposed. Uh, yeah, yeah. P, P is uh, it can be exposed by by this uh, uh, blue line. Uh, so so K is in ex ex extreme zero C is because uh, uh, you can find uh, uh, because uh, it uh, the C itself is a uh, is a minimal phase. It, uh, it's so so Z is uh, in xt0 and x code 0 of z. Uh, now let's see, look at uh, x. So x is in, in x code 1 c, right? Because uh, if, I were, if you have a, a, like, have a plan exposing z, then it will, it will inevitably, uh, it will inevitably uh, contain this uh, this big this this big this uh, this in this line. So uh, so you cannot expose this uh, single point. So you have to include the, the, these guys on the on the right. This point on the on the right. So so Z is in expose one C, but so X is in expose one C, but not in uh, not in expose zero C. But uh, x is actually in, in expo extreme point, extreme zero of, of c, uh, because x it itself is, is a phase. As x itself is a phase of our c. Uh, okay. Uh, and and uh, for y, y is a uh, y is in similarly for y, y is in expose one c. And y is also in uh, in ex extreme one c. Uh, so uh, so so you, uh, you can uh, so that's the, the difference between the extreme point and the exposed point. <coughs> uh, so so we have a theorem uh, called uh, from S plant. Uh, which says uh, if if C is a closed convex set, then the then the K exposed points are dense in the in the K extreme point. Uh, so this is a this theorem is an extension of the theorem of a, a stress base uh, who prove it in the case K zero. Uh, so let's go back to the picture and uh, illustrate, illustrate this theorem. So. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, so uh, let's take a. X, uh, so from this theorem, X, uh, we have a x p t c is dense in x p extreme uh, zero c, right? Uh, in this uh, picture, what is the uh, uh, zero dimensional exposed? Point. Uh, they are exactly, uh, exactly uh, at this point. This point, right? So on the half circle, this half circle, but without these uh, the two end points. Well, the ex the zero dimensional extreme point uh, has this in include this half circle, and then also the two the two uh, end, end points. Right, and uh, therefore uh, you, you can see the the, the exposed point is the a dense extreme point. It's only a point that's exposed, that's extreme, but not exposed is is the is the two uh, is is the two end end point. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, so this is the 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 
uh, as plant there. So are there any, any questions? That's good. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so, uh, now, now I, uh, I wanna uh, talk about the dimension of faces and their, and their projection. Uh, so, so uh, we, we let C be a convex set and M is a projection. Uh, uh, so you, you can think about C as the is the in the EDM cone, and M is the projection of a cone to some uh, graph. So for example, and uh, and for any uh, Y in M C in the projection of C, and X is a vertex of a of a MC uh, uh, inverse one. So this this one. So this is the inverse mapping of M uh, restricted to the convex set uh, C. Right. Yeah. So so let's draw a picture. Right. So this could be a. This is a. This is. Uh, this is my convex C. And the and then the projection. Something like this. So it's a. It's a. And this is the projection. This is a MC. Here is the, this is the projection M. So, uh, so, uh, so if Y is MC and uh, X is uh, a vertex in the pre image of Y, uh, a vertex, I mean, it's, uh, it's just a zero dimensional extreme point. So, for example, uh, if I have a, I have a I have a circle, or, 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 or and then all the, the vertex is just any point. If I have a square, then the vertex will be those guys, uh, <clears throat> etc. So vertex is basically a zero dimensional extreme point. Uh, so if X is a vertex in the pre -image, in the pre image of Y. Uh, then we have a <coughs> so suppose that we have a face of X C. So the uh, a face, uh, I mean, is the minimal face. This 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 uh, uh, in the convex analysis where you see face, it means uh, the minimal face. So face X C, uh, I have. So this suppose this is uh, uh, this is X, right, and uh, and. Uh, a face X, so let's say that this blue is a face, X is a point in this in the face. This will be the face of a XC. So X is a X is a project to uh, to M uh, to MC, and then the face can is also uh, so the uh, and uh, the face is also kind of a projected to the MC. Uh, so, so uh, suppose here this is Y is MC. Then, and then I, uh, for this M, for this Y point, uh, I can there is a face containing Y. There is a minimal face containing Y in in MC. And that, and this and this this one said the face of a. Yeah, face of uh, y, m c. Dimension of this is less than dimension. Of this is less than the dimension of uh, uh, dimension of the face of uh, x c. So that uh, so uh, <clears throat> so uh, that's. So, so that, uh, uh, of course, if uh, if uh, X is a universal rigid, uh, for example, then X will be a vertex in the pre-image of its projection, right? Because uh, uh, the pre-image of of, 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 a, of a universal uh, of the pre-image of the projection of a universal uh, framework is just a singleton. Uh, so this lemma uh, gives you a condition. 
uh, such that the dimension of x c is less or equal to the dimension of the of the uh, dimension of the face of x is less or equal to the dimension of the uh, the face in, in the projected set less or equal. Uh, so uh, and, uh, and similarly uh, we we have a we have another lemma which which says the uh, the other direction. So uh, it says uh, if uh, the lemma says uh, if if uh, uh, so again, we have C is a convex set M is projection, and if Y is in MC, and X is in the red, and if X is in the relative interior of, a, of the pre image MC, right? Uh, so this is in the relative interior, and this means this is the vertex. So the only difference is this uh, condition. The, 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 two, the only difference in the two lemmas is this condition. So in this case, uh, uh, we have uh, the dimensional face of a uh, of x x c is 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 a uh, greater or equal to the dimension of a uh, of face of y m c. So instead of a uh, uh, instead of a uh, uh, smaller or equal, so we we now have a uh, greater or equal. So it 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 totally depends on the and the geometry of uh, of the of the pre image of, of y. So uh, so you can see if x is a universal rigid, uh, then x is a if x is a universal rigid, uh, that means a uh, uh, pi uh, m. Uh, Inverse C M X is is exactly X, and, and uh, this is M C inverse Y. So so that means that uh, X is a vertex of M C inverse Y, and also X is in the relative interior of M C Y because X is is a singleton, so the uh, a single in relative interior of a uh, of a singleton, it's it's just uh, the itself. So uh, x that therefore if, uh, for x to be universal rigid, if x is universal rigid, then it satisfy the uh, assumption of both uh, both lemmas, and we actually have a, a dimension face of a, the the minimal face of a x a, 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 a continuous x is equal to dimension of the the minimal face uh, in MC continue Y. Uh, if X is a universal rigid. Uh, so, so I actually I think uh, this this term uh, uh, you actually don't need to X to be universal rigid, right? So X could be uh, locally universal rigid, for example. Uh, for example, uh, uh, this instead to be a singleton, this could be like several isolated points, right? And the, the, the results can, can also hold. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, locally rigid is enough. Uh, like locally for the pre image. Oh, wait. I, I mean, for the pre image of the projection to be a single point. Yeah, or it can be a, can be some uh, isolated points, for example. Uh, Sorry about the noise. That, that would be like a lo locally universal rigid, right? I mean, locally rigid means uh, it's locally rigid in some dimension, but uh, in the in the higher dimension. Yeah, yeah, be... that's true. Uh, uh, locally rigid would mean I'm not just looking at the face of the cone, but rather for a particular dimension of the phase. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, here, if, uh, if you can, if you, uh, here, uh, we can actually extend it local rigid to say, uh, we, uh, some point is a, it's a locally universal rigid, uh, but I, I don't, uh, maybe there's not, there's no such, 
uh, yeah there's no such things at least the definition of universally rigid automatically says it's global we should it, it would have to be a different name something like locally uh the i mean in the neighborhood there are no other frameworks that have a dime a, a realization in higher dimensions that's what you mean really yeah 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 locally but, rigid and doesn't have realizations in higher dimensions or something like that yeah yeah could can you just find uh i mean the definition of universally rigid just technically uh automatically assumes it's globally rigid so locally doesn't make sense i mean just from the syntax i mean you, right. you're going to have to use a different terminology yeah i can't uh, picture yeah. what locally universally rigid would look like uh even in this even in the sense you said it mira yeah mm -hmm. yeah sorry i i, 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 I yeah, could you repeat that i think yeah you kind of uh, my internet's not great, I apologize. Uh, I yeah, just said I couldn't understand uh, how a, def a definition of locally universally rigid would make, would make sense or what it would look like. Yeah, because the definition of universally rigid starts out by saying it's globally, <laughs> global, it's a global condition. So yeah. it would have to, something like this, the following would probably still be true. If the graph is locally rigid, I mean, sorry. In all dimensions. In, in, dimension. in all dimensions, exactly. So, yeah. local, or you could say something like locally rigid and in the neighborhood, there is no realization in higher dimensions. Right. Could, yeah. could you just go, like assuming the graph is non complete, go up to some uh, really high dimension and then perform like a, a like folding motion over some hyperplane? Or, is that taken care of somehow? Yeah, I think that's taken care of by the fact that the pre-image is a single. I mean, we're starting out of the assumption that the pre-image of the projection is a single point. I mean, that's a hypothesis. Oh, OK. Yeah. 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 So you could potentially have like like multiple isolated uh, points in there. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah. OK, OK. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think this, this uh, in this case, the, this, uh, uh, this result by, by Gottler and uh, assessment may still hold for, for instead of a locally region, we could relax this a little bit. Yeah, if if you just say, yeah, I was I was starting out from the viewpoint of the graph rather than the viewpoint of the like this pre-image. So yeah, that's uh -huh. good. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, uh, okay, so okay, um, you should watch the time um, because we're already at like ten twenty-five. You want to get through the thing, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, well, okay, we, we don't we don't have to hurry. It's the last course. Okay, <laughs> great. Thanks. Yeah. I don't have I don't have something to do after the after eleven o'clock, so I can stay longer. <laughs> but other people would. <laughs> <laughs> so you should, oh. you should yeah okay great thanks you might want to just focus on the real the things that you want to get across yeah 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 okay uh, so so uh and uh and now i want to talk about the, the generic and the local generic uh, uh property so the def uh, so so uh a definition a point in the semi-algebraic set v defined over q it, it's generic if it's local, if it's coordinates, do not satisfy any uh, algebraic equation with co uh, co uh, coefficients in Q, uh, besides those that are uh, satisfied by every point on V. So this is uh, the, uh, the, the definition of the generosity uh, which we have seen before, right? And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, uh, also a uh, point X on a semi algebraic set S is uh, called a locally generic. If for, not, uh, for small enough epsilon, x is uh, generic in s intersecting a, a small ball. Uh, <coughs> so it's, uh, it's the definition of locally generic. Uh, and we now have this lemma, I said, uh, 
if x and y are both uh, uh, semi algebraic sets defined over q, with x uh, 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 a subset of y, and x is a uh, dense in y, then x uh, can turn to one of the locally uh, generic points of y. Uh, they said if, if uh, for example, if x is the is the exposed point and y is a uh, y, y is the extreme point, then if x is also uh, sorry, if if uh, well, let me see, if x is a if, if y is the the set of the extreme points and uh, and uh, and then we have a uh, we, we have uh, we have a locally generic points in, in y. Uh, so we have locally generic po points, which is also extreme point. Then uh, x will be automatically uh, an exposed point, right? Because uh, uh, because this theorem says uh, uh, because uh, we know that uh, x exposed point are dense, and therefore from this lemma. Exposed point uh, contains other local generic points of uh, of uh, extreme points. <clears throat> so this this is the, this was the lemma set. Uh, <clears throat> so that how, how how can we get uh, connect this uh, exposedness and the genericity? So uh, now we have this theorem says uh, if X is a local generic in in, in ex extreme in the uh, is uh, in the uh, k-dimensional extreme point, uh, and x is a universal rigid, rigid under 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 this uh, projection M. Uh, then M is also locally generic in in the projection of M C. So so this is the uh, so under the projection, if M M X, M -X is also locally generic. Uh, so, so what we want to prove is uh, we want to prove x is uh, uh, if x is uh, in extreme k c, we want to prove m x is in extreme k of uh, of m x. Uh, uh, this actually we are, we have to use the uh, use the universal rigidity of the of x. So how do you prove it? Uh, uh, so suppose x is a universal rigid and there's projection. And let y be his, be his Im, image. And then from, from a previous uh, lemma, we, we know that dimension of xc is in the equal to dimension of ymc. And th therefore, uh, uh, the dimension doesn't change. The dimension, uh, the dimension doesn't change. So x, therefore x, is when, uh, if x is in extreme k, x, uh, it implies m x. It's in the, it's a it's a k dimensional extreme point of of m m c. Uh, so uh, extreme the, the extreme point in the uh, in, in c is a project to the projected to the to an extreme point in m c. A, a k dimensional uh, extreme point is project to a k dimensional extreme point. So the dimension doesn't change. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, I'm not going to prove the local uh, the projection also preserves the local uh, generic property, but uh, it, it's not very hard. Uh, uh, so, so with this, uh, with this other lemma, we can prove prove the following, uh, prove the re result. So, so actually, uh, we we need another theorem, which is from uh, uh, from this paper from. Uh, uh, from this, sorry, from this paper, uh, the uh, the coordinate shadows of semi and Euclidean this the matrix. <coughs> uh, uh, the main result of this paper is this this theorem. It's, it's, it says uh, if x is a proper convex cone in, in the Euclidean distance e, and m is a linear operator between e and y, and uh, let f be uh, be, be be a feasible set of this. Uh, uh, of, of, a, of, a, of a linear system. And then uh, V exposed face of a, uh, a face in the 
projected set containing B, if and only if uh, uh, M star M star the adjoint adjoint M M star V uh, exposed face uh, in the of the uh, 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 of the original set the convex uh, set. So uh, so uh, <coughs> and there, there's a, a nice. Uh, uh, yeah, let, let's let's draw a picture then. Uh, so I have a so, so again this is a this is C and uh, and the, for example this is a this 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 uh, black one now is F this is this is F and uh, and uh, this uh, projection. F a, F becomes a, uh, a project to B, right? So X is a, so this is B, uh, this is B, and and uh, I'm uh, under this projection. Uh, <clears throat> so it says, uh, yeah, if if uh, if V uh, is put a uh, oops a face of a face of a continuum B in, in M C, and then V has to, of course has to be in the uh, when I say exposed, I mean uh, V has to be in the in the dual uh, V has to be in the in the dual cone of M C, right? Uh, and I'm uh, I, I join V has to be in the in the dual column C. Uh, it's supposed to mean that there is a there is a there is a hyperplane that exactly exposes this this face. Uh, so on this level we can actually if we can have a expose uh, have a V that exposes a face in. Uh, in the project set, we can actually go back to the original set, and uh, this will uh, this one will give you the stress matrix, the de desired PSD stress matrix. Uh, so that's why why we need uh, we need to to go to first we need to project to uh, uh, we need the, uh, first we need to go to the projection, and then we we study the Exposedness of the, ex the projected point in the projected cone, and uh, then we have to go back to the original sets uh, to find the uh, to find the, the the stress matrix. If you do not uh, have this use this uh, projection, uh, then then you know, you, can, you may not be able to find an uh, exposing vector of this form. So so because. Uh, because the uh, 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 EDM cone is always facially, facially exposed. It, you can always find the exposing vector. But, uh, but we need an exposing vector uh, in this form, uh, such that the exposing vector is M adjoint of some vector V. And that can give, that gives us the, the stress matrix. Uh, so now I want to prove the main theorem. Uh, <clears throat> so the, the main theorem says uh, let GP be in a universally uh, rigid framework, and P is a generic in the R-dimensional configuration space. And then, then GP has a PSD equilibrium, equilibrium stress matrix of rank exactly uh, uh, V number of vertices minus R minus one. So, so the proof is it goes as the following, as the following. Uh, so let D, DP uh, <coughs> be the EDM uh, corresponding to the of the uh, framework GP, and let C be the EDM cone. <coughs> uh, C is the EDM cone, and and let uh, let pi G uh, be the projection, and and then. Uh, from the the structure of the uh, the EDM cone, 
we know that uh, the EDM matrix DP is the is it is the k-dimensional extreme point of the EDM cone, and the k is is is, uh, is r plus one uh, to two. Uh, so basically, it is uh, this like for example, right? So, so if r if r r is uh, three, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six. So so six to two is is four uh, two four four to two is six. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so you, 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 you actually you can think about this. Uh, it's been K as the K C as the as the as the uh, R stratum of the EDM cone, right? Same, same, same. Uh, and then as as K as, as K increases, you uh, this you eventually this uh, you have the entire EDM cone. Uh, okay, and then uh, we now have uh, uh, we we know that uh, uh, p is a uh, generic, and which means that p is a generic configuration. That means that uh, d p is generic in extreme k c, and also uh, at, and, uh, and the uh, generic uh, implies locally generic. So d p is a uh, is locally gen uh, generic in extreme k uh, c. Uh, hence, we know that uh, the projection, a projection of a uh, DP, is locally generic in in the extreme uh, the k the k dimensional extreme point of the uh, projection of C. So, so, uh, so pi pi g so pi pi g DP is also locally generic generic in Extreme TK pi, pi GC. Uh, and, and since uh, we know its post point, it's a uh, it's post uh, the k dimensional its post point is dense a dense. Therefore, it contains all the locally generic points. Uh, and th therefore. Uh, 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 therefore, it contains a uh, uh, pi GP. So, so now we so we prove that uh, uh, pi G DP is is uh, is in is, is in the exposed point of K of, of pi G. So, uh, yeah, from here here we have a uh, pi GP is it's a it's a extreme point. And uh, now it's actually it's actually also an extreme point, exposed point. Sorry, it's also an exposed point. And uh, and since we know that uh, the the dimension the, the rank of uh, uh, the rank of DP rank of DP is R. Uh, uh, sorry, not the rank the the embedding dimension the, the embedding dimension. Uh, the embedded dimension of, uh, or, or, or can I say, rank of, uh, of, of, uh, of, of, of J, this ground matrix, J, D, P, J, is, is R. Therefore, it's actually in the, in the relative interior of, uh, of the, uh, <coughs> therefore, you can see the, uh, 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 Well, let's let's yeah, let's let's uh, start start again. Uh, so, uh, pi GP is in the is a k-dimensional exposed point of pi GC. Therefore, there exists a, a phase containing pi GP uh, of 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 k of k-dimensional, and this phase is exposed is exposed by by some uh, vector in the uh, in, in the dual cone of, uh, of pi GC. Uh, since uh, we know this, the, the, the rank of the, the embedded dimension of this DP, of DP is exactly R, so the phase uh, we found is exactly is, is exactly the minimal phase. 
the minimal phase uh, of, of pi GP. So, so therefore you can see the minimal phase of a pi GP uh, in MC is, is posed by, by some vector in, in pi G, I don't see. Uh, and therefore, from, the, from this lemma, uh, uh, I have a, so, so, uh, so V is post minimal force phase in the projection, projected set, uh, I don't V is post the phase in the original set, in the original cone. Uh, therefore, I, uh, uh, pi G I joint V exposes the minimal phase of DP uh, in the EDM cone. And, and the, uh, the dimension uh, of this both phases is exactly uh, R plus one plus two. And uh, hence, uh, hence we, we, uh, we prove uh, that uh, the GP has a PSD equivalent from stress matrix of, of rank uh, V uh, minus, minus one minus R. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the end of the proof. So, uh, uh, so uh, I actually, I wanna uh, discuss something about this, uh, called it, uh, if there's, there's a question asked by, by Mira, if the general position uh, it's similar it's same to if uh, if, uh, if if you have a general position uh, framework and also universal rigid does this theorem hold uh, as well yeah so so for for general position uh, for framework in the general position uh, uh, yeah I, 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 so you actually need to argue that uh, it's actually uh, if 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 uh, if GP is a universal rigid and uh, and uh, and uh, in general position, and then uh, uh, it 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 uh, it uh, then uh, uh, is is this uh, framework also also is post? Uh, uh, so, uh, so, so, uh, for, uh, let's, let's say, so this is the, so you have a, uh, yeah. so you, suppose this is the, this is the comb, this is a, like a, like half circle, and, uh, at this point, uh, this this uh, so, so all these points here, right? X, they are actually in the extreme one of C. Uh, so this is C. Uh, so this is C, and. Uh, and uh, out of the extreme XP zero C, they are actually the points that, uh, uh, in, uh, you know, they're, they're, there's a point that do not include the boundary. The boundary is, is, is excluded. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, if you uh, only consider the generic point, uh, is the, you get the exposed point. So for for for, for point in the uh, general position, uh, my, my feeling is it should also it's not it should be also in, in the it cannot be point like in this position, right? Because this is uh, some uh, these positions are points on this on, here are actually some special in some special position. So, so if uh, GP is a uh, in general position, uh, position, 
then then uh, my, my uh, GP and GP is a uh, uh, in extreme point K of C and GP uh, yeah I, my my base my still be in maybe in extreme XP K of C. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and and uh, if if this is true, uh, then you would you would prove that this result also hold for uh, not only for uh, generic uh, framework but also for for frameworks in general position. Uh, yeah, but, but the hard part is uh, we, we do not have this lemma like this. So uh, in, we have a theorem like uh, here. So lemma, right, if uh, we have X and Y are both uh, semi-average semi because set different over Q. If X and Y, if X is dense in Y, then X contains all the locally generic points of Y. So, 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 so ex, exposed extreme point contains all the, uh, well, well ex, exposed point uh, is dense in extreme point. So it contains all the locally generic points. Uh, but uh, but uh, it's open question if, if actually exposed point contains all the, uh, all the general position points. Yeah, so if this is true, uh, you, you would be able to prove uh, the result for, for for general position universal uh, frame rigid frameworks. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the okay. So this would require showing that all the um. So all the so this would say that the set of general position points are all contained in the set of exposed points, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so in this picture, that means that, uh, so uh, so all my, it's probably for the uh, design, so this, this is a half, half uh, this, this is like a surface, right? Like, like a sphere, spherical surface. So, and there's a boundary. So all the exposed points are this uh, point uh, without its boundaries. Right. So you would think about this uh, it's, it's, uh, general position point I also in the, not in the boundary, not on the boundary. Right. So here's how I think of general position points. I think of general position points as being sort of, uh, so general point position in B dimensions, let's say, as being such a point as lying uh, was you know the distance vector corresponding to that lies in the um, in the relative interior of the <clears throat> d-dimensional stratum. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it doesn't la uh, it it by relative interior I mean it doesn't fall into one of uh, the generalized strata, which would which are the boundaries which would correspond to one of these scaly menger determinants for d plus one vanishing, mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. or more of them vanishing. So that's what I would think of as a general position. I mean, that's what the definition of general position tells us, right? Mm -hmm. um, so then, you know, using that definition, I don't, how could it be in a way that, I don't know, I find it hard to imagine how uh, something that's in the relative interior of that d-dimensional stratum would uh, not be an exposed point. Yeah, yeah, I found this. Yeah, it's hard to imagine. Yeah. Uh, so, so I suspect that this is, should be true. Yeah. This, this theorem maybe should be. We can use. Maybe we can prove that lemma based using this idea of, uh, you know. Sort of, it's in the open. It has an open neighborhood around it. The mm -hmm. Point has an open neighborhood around it. 
um, because it's in the relative interior of this, this um, semi-algebraic set defined by uh, setting all the Cayley Menger d plus one and high, d plus one and higher dimensions to zero, or maybe d plus two. Yeah, I, I forget. I always get that mixed up. So and none of the d dimensional Cayley Menger determinants is zero. So it actually has an open neighborhood um, there. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the techniques are for showing some point is um, that these all of these points are exposed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I, maybe I. Yeah. Let's let's say some final words about this uh, theorem. So so in the theorem, uh, you you say. Uh, uh, I, uh, so if DP is in the merge rigid. And uh, uh, I actually, uh, 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 the, you have to show that it's actually an exposed point in the in the projected uh, cone. So it's it's uh, so this so it is exposed point in the in the uh, in the EDM cone, and it's also exposed point in the projection in the projected cone. So why uh, why why we need to show that? Uh, the projection is actually also an exposed point uh, because uh, we want to show that uh, this is true. So we want to go back from the projection to the original set. set. We want to show that there is actually a, an exposing vector of, of this form. And this this will give you the, the EDM, the, the stress, the, the PSD stress matrix. So, and to show this, uh, uh, we have to go to the the projection. If you do not uh, uh, to go uh, to the projection, uh, it's, or it's not a, you may not be able to find a exposing vector of this form. Uh, so that's the the main idea of this uh, this proof. So okay. So so I think that's the end of, end of my end of the talk. <laughs>